<clears throat> okay, guys, what I'd like to do right now is to show you the hoop lab in, uh, in example form. Um, so let's set up the original scenario. The original scenario was we had a table at the front of the room and the cannon was on the table, all right, shooting out a marble. Okay, so the marble was shot out at some angle, gets shot out. Let's say, I think I had it set at 35 degrees. <clears throat> all right. Um, and what we were trying to do was to calculate the, if I gave you the distance in the x, I said your distance in the x equals one meter, what would be the uh, <clears throat> distance in the y that that ball would be at? Where would that ball be in the y direction? So let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. So if we had our drawing, if it looked like this, this was the table, here's the cannon. All right, the ball should take a path that looks something like this. Let's erase that and try again. All right, should take a path that looks something like this. Okay, and what we want to know, or what I wanted to know, was that if I gave you this distance here and told you that this was one meter, okay, where was that ball along the path? We know it's at one meter here, but where is it? Okay, where is it in the y direction? What is this distance now in the y? All right. Now, I'm going to use my own numbers because I think that uh, I had two different uh, speeds in my two different classes. So I'm just going to say that we used the, uh, we shot it off at a horizontal angle. The, the cannon shot off at a horizontal angle. And we figured out the time it took to fall. And we found the... Uh, distance it went in the X and we calculated that the velocity in the X must have been uh, for my my case here the velocity in the X must have been 9 meters per second alright so that was our shot now I set it at an angle so uh, our cannon is back on the table okay and I'm gonna set it at the angle of 35 degrees okay and I'm going to solve it for what if I told you you needed to find it at the distance of uh, we'll say two meters okay so I know my distance in the X is going to be equal to two meters that's going to stay constant I know that this is being shot out of the cannon at nine meters per second and I know this angle here is 35 degrees Okay, just a little note, I'm doing this with my finger right now, so it may look a little goofy, like my nine here it looks a little strange, I think. So, uh, but you get the point, okay? So, um, there we go, nine meters per second. All right, so where do I go from here? Well, there's going to be several steps. The first step in any case like this, all right, is going to be to figure out the velocity in the x and the velocity in the y. And the way we're going to do this is going to go v cosine the angle so in this case it would be 9 cosine 35 and so if we type in 9 cosine 35 we get um, hang on one second we get uh, 7.4 meters per second alright and then in the other one by will get 9 sine 35 and we'll get 5.2 meters per second. The sine data. And we get 5.2 meters per second. Okay? So keep these numbers in mind. Uh, 5.2 meters per second is by, and uh, 7.4 meters per second is vx. Okay? So we know our distance to the x is 2. So we've broken this up. This was the first step. All right? Where do we go from here? Well, the first thing we need to do is to find a time. That's always going to be a very, very, very important step. So we need to figure out what t equals. How long does it take to get out to 2 meters? Well, <clears throat> I know my velocity in the x is equal to 7.4 meters per second. I know that from this page because we solve for vx. Okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to solve for the time. We know dx is equal to... 2 meters, 
Okay? And we know that the formula is v is e Vx equals dx divided by t. Okay? So we get 7.4 equals 2 divided by time. And if we solve for this, we would get 2, uh, um, two we flip the spot of the t and the 7.4, so we get t is equal to 2 divided by 7.4, and that would give us um, 0.27 is equal to time. 0.27 seconds. All right, so now we have a time. What was it we were looking for in the first place, though? We weren't looking for time. We we're looking for, go back one more, we're looking for, one more, we're looking for the height and the y. So we're looking for this right here. So what we have right now is the time it's going to take to get here, and we have uh, the velocity in the y, so we know what this initial velocity in the y was. So uh, what formula do you think we need to use? Well, going back one, we need to use the distance in the y formula. Distance in the y equals distance in the y equals one half a y t squared plus v i y t. And now we need to do one last thing, and that's to add in the height that our cannon was at. Because if you'll remember, the cannon was on a table, so it was already one meter above. And this formula right here is only good if we're talking about it being shot from ground level. So since we weren't on ground level, we were up from ground level, we need to add that one meter in at the end. Okay? So this is all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my numbers. And I'm enjoying changing the colors. Hang on. So uh, plug in our numbers. We get dy equals, sorry, that was the bell, obviously dy equals one half times uh, negative ten times what was our time? 0 0.27 0 0.27 squared plus the initial velocity in the y which was go back to the beginning here, the initial velocity in the y was 5.2 meters per second so that's the initial velocity in y times 0.27 plus the one meter we had at the beginning. So if we type all that stuff in, we get 0.5 times negative 10 times 0.27 squared, okay, plus 5.2 times 0.27 plus 1. We should see that the place we would need to put the the hoop, the place we would need to put the hoop in the end would be 2.04 meters. So if we had the cannon shooting here and the ball comes out at two meters out you would need to put your your hoop right there at 2.04 meters for this particular case all right, now keep in mind all those numbers could change, like the velocities in the x's, the velocities in the y's, all that stuff can change, but the general idea here that we saw for uh, is sound. So hopefully that helped everybody or some people out understanding the hoop lab. If it didn't, I'm sorry. All right, well, uh, anyway, uh, until next time, I suppose, have a good day.